On Fenris, strangers stalk the lands of men. In the long halls, tales are told of mysterious wanderers who arrive in the depths of winter and challenge the strongest and most boastful of the tribesmen to bouts of strength and drinking. They are a frightening sight, huge burly warriors with burning eyes, cloaked in the pelts of the wolves of Fenris. The strangers always out-wrestle the strongest warriors and outdrink the staunchest. Once they have fought every challenger, they pick the most worthy and take them away into the dark, never to be seen again. Sometimes, when the longships come ashore and blood stains the snow all around, these same strangers will be watching. If a warrior shows the signs of greatness during battle, the strangers may descend from on high and approach him, to the awe of all who witness it. Often the chosen one is on the point of death, but the strangers care not. They take their prize with them away into the blizzards, and the youth is never seen again. Some say that they vanish into the lightning, others that a great flying ship comes down to collect them, but none know for sure. These mysterious strangers are the wolf priests of the space wolves. The choosers of the Valiant. The youths they pick will be tested sorely. If they have true steel in their souls, the legacy of Lumen Rust will be implanted in their bodies, and they will ultimately become space marines. The Test of Morkai Many are the trials which a young Fenrisian warrior must endure before he can join the ranks of the Space Wolves. The many tests will try the warrior's wit as well as his strength, and place him in the mortal dangers from which he must emerge alive, if not unscathed. Although the nature of these trials is varied, the final test is always the same. This is the Test of Morkai, named after the legendary two-headed wolf that guards the gates of death. Some fail this final test and are claimed by Morkai, and forgotten. The trial is long, for the warrior is taken a thousand miles into the barren wastes beyond the fortress of the Fang. He drinks from the cup of Wolfen, and his body absorbs the first and most deadly gene seed of the Space Wolves, the unique Canis Gene Helix. The frightening potency of the Canis Helix is legendary, and has accounted for the lives of millions of aspirants as their bodies writhe and churn in anguish. Though as it does not kill, it transforms into a slavery monster. The Canis Helix is necessary, however, as without this essential part of Lehman Russ's heritage, the other Gene Helixes cannot be implanted at all. Whilst in the throes of transformation, the aspirant is cast out into the wilderness to make his own way back to the Fang. The gene works hideous changes on the warrior's mind and body. He reverts to a primal state where his bones split and buckle. Thick hair sprouts from across his body and his only desire is to gorge on fresh meat and glut himself on blood. His body mass grows up to 80%, many of his bones fuse, and fangs sprout from his gums as he undergoes the transformation. Whilst his body is racked with pain, the warrior must overcome the shadow within him lest it possess him entirely. If he does not, he will become one of the giant, feral creatures known as the Wolfen, who failed to overcome the curse. To become one of the Wolfen is to fall from grace and to roam the wilderness forevermore as a creature of the darkest night. If the aspirant manages to find his way back to the Fang through the predator-haunted blizzard of Azaheim, he is implanted with the remainder of the Space Wolf's gene seed, stabilizing the Canis Helix and completing his apotheosis. A minority of these warriors do not completely conquer the gene seed's original effects, however, and in times of great stress they revert to the hulking, bloodthirsty state that haunts their soul like a ghastly shadow. This is the curse of the Wolfen, and it is rightly feared. Yet some succeed, despite the ravages wrought upon them, the multitude of wild beasts and the natural perils that lie between them and their goal. These aspirants are welcome to the chapter and take their place amongst the Space Wolves. As Space Marines, they will live for hundreds of years if they do not die in battle, and they will voyage through the stars to fight in the Emperor's name. They will fight monstrous orcs and heinous demons of chaos. They will encounter the mind-numbing horrors of the Tyranids, and they will endure the indescribable perils of warp space. To a man born and raised amidst the ice and fire of Fenris, this is indeed a life amongst the gods.